Oh, time for the pain that comes from the bone zone. Kytha in the bone zone. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to do a very specific and dumb build for this, won't I? But that's what the Bezwick is, isn't it? Okay. Clover, get her evolution's Tronus box. Crown for levels. Can Labrador to make the arrow bigger, because they really do need that. Okay. Don't need Duplicator, it isn't effective. Maybe if I can get the arrows big enough, I can get through this. Alright, I need Bracer and Empty Tome. That's my next pickups. It's my only pickups. Which means I'm not getting Pomerola for the safety I need. Oh boy. Ghosts! Why are ghosts in the bone zone? Why'd you give me this random event that's really terrible for her? Like, unquestionably awful. She can't deal with hordes till she gets a millionaire. Once I have a millionaire, it's not going to be a problem. But getting there is going to be the breaker. Okay, I'm definitely going to lose enough lives to pop tier Jisoo. Alright, so keep going as it is. The arrow does get bigger. It's still not going to be very big, though. Oh, there's one down. That's never good. Alright, yeah, that's basically about as big as it's going to effectively get. And yet, it's still not going to be enough. Oi. Without random events, I'm just going to be doomed. There's Empty Tome. Nice. Okay, it's going slightly better. Okay, the arrows are big enough that I can kind of clear a path through. I need to. Which I always need to. Oh wow, lucky. Alright, there's the arrow maxed out, so it's about as good as it's going to get. Which is still pretty bad. Look at this. I boosted it as much as it could, and it's still going to have trouble getting me to 10. Once I get to 10, once I can get Millionaire, it's not going to be a problem, but getting there is going to be the disaster of the century. And unless I get a... Oh, Bone Towers? They do incredible amounts of damage if you walk into them for some reason. It makes no sense to me, but Vampire Survivors is going to Vampire Survivors. Oh, right. I also need to make sure to upgrade Clover and Bracer, two of the least useful abilities possible. I did not get Bracer. Uh oh. Oh, boy, I did not mean to do that. I'm so far off of my chickens. Oh, that's lucky. Okay, slightly easier wave here. Man, this is just terrifyingly bad. Normal run, no problem. Silent Old Sanctuary run, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Well, at least I got enough arrows going around. Creating a death loop or something. Yeah, you can tell how much damage it does if even the big red bone towers are getting shoot up this fast. They are very durable. 400 damage is 400 damage. 
<laughs> the animation is basically stuck in bow lock. Chest. What? What happened there? Where'd it go? Huh. What? What? Well, this is very strange. Oh, I'm screenshotting this. Wait, that means I can't evolve it. That's not good. The game glitched and now I can't win. Yeah. It's just acting like a chest max mount. Well, that's really bad. That gets unquestionably super bad. Oh, will getting the silver ring change anything? Maybe there was some sort of weird luck overflow? She gains luck on level up. Not that it matters. Oh, Academy Badge. Got Academy Badge. Maybe Academy Badge did it. Maybe I leveled up when... Uh, maybe I had some sort of weird setup. With Academy Badge spawning in and causing this. Okay. Still not fearing up. Trying to go even with him so I can hit him with the back arrows, but... It's not working. Why did you come from the bottom? You weren't that off-screen. See, look at that. He's barely off-screen and he gets moved back up to Doom Zone. Barely off screen and he moves. What the heck? Now I'm not going to be able to get the full benefit of Awake because of that cheapy, cheap, cheap cheapness. Kenny Badge is the only reason I'm alive. Well, that worked, and now I could totally get Millionaire if it hadn't bugged out. This would be no trouble whatsoever if I could just get Millionaire, but no, no, the game literally cheated me. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. Well, at least if I win I can say I beat it when the game was cheating against me. The game cheated, and I won anyway. Yep, yeah, that's totally the title if I can actually get through this. Four. Jeez, that's a ton of damage. Oh, well, it might be possible. Probably really shouldn't be, but still. It might be. At least taking down the Atlantean shouldn't be too much of a problem with this much damage. Uh...
game, game, I know. Please, please, it's Bone Zone with Keitha. Flash Arrow. It's difficult enough. You don't need to make it harder. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Really? Your spite is overwhelming, game. She's supposed to have good luck. Good luck. No. Chicken. Okay, there we go. Now I can sit in chicken fort till I take on the Atlantean. Wait, what? Oh, silver ring, duh. I don't know if it affects anything else. Just the area. Wait, what? They're big enough that they can't get into her. That's interesting. Yeah, I suppose in theory it was possible. So Boogaloo would be an incredibly good pickup for her. Just with big enough arrows, no problem. Okay, this weapon definitely needs a lot of work, but it can eventually be pretty safe. Yeah, it's still not the best, but better than it was. So that's good. It's very good. It turns out that luck affected her eventually. Alright, if I can get Pumrol, that should be just enough to get through. Yep, look at that. No banishes. Clover, Tornus Box, and, well, Tier Jisu when I had it. Weren't maxed out. The game cheated and I won anyway. If I can beat this stage with every character, then I can beat any stage with any character. Oh, drowner, drowner, drowner! Let me get to that dang Metaglio. Oh wait, do you go... Wow, that did way more damage than it should have. Okay, back to Chicken Fort. Ah, uh, I still worry. Still might not be... 2,000, that's a lot, jeez. I really gotten... No, 52 isn't a whole heck of a lot. Something's weird with the numbers. Is the base damage just that ridiculously high? I mean, I know it's high to make up for the fact that it's bad. It's got bad area, but still. That is a bit too high, I think. Considering they don't have spinach. Drone's box isn't maxed out. She isn't getting might, I think. Just luck. She's fast. Alright, it's slashing time. Blood Skeletons. Alright, 4k damage. With this level of luck, it's basically always a crit. Okay, that means my damage for the final Doom Waves is going to be pretty dang I win. Wasn't expecting to just get through this with Flash Arrow, but here we are. Oh, good, I am recording and the audio is recording. That could have been a disaster. Well, oh, another chicken fort. That's... Well, considering what you gave me earlier, that's only fair. Seriously? Exploding illusionist wave? Are you kidding me? Oh, that means I'm going to be getting a dot another drowner soon, aren't I? Or another stalker soon, aren't I? Oh, I have all my revives, at least. Oh, these dang bullets.
yeah, even the, it could even fight a get a hit in through the plant wave. And that's when you know you're strong. You can take out the plants. Also, geez, that's a good sign of how dang durable they are. This much damage can't clear them out in a volley. Atlante oh, went down in very little time. Not too risky to go after the other two, just way too risky. Heck, everything about this is risky. I should not be winning this. And yet, here I am winning it. It's nice to have a video where I blatantly have the title in mind ahead of time. Ah, uh, that's nice. Taglio, my Taglio. Can I just go left, size it up? Oh, NFT. Time to burn. Uh oh. They're surviving. A wave of the NFT. That's not good. It's not good at all. Well, that's maxed out, at least. Okay, they're not surviving getting arrowed. 5,000, jeez. Damage is incredible. Yeah, it's not that Keitha is a problem character. She's pretty dang strong. It's just that her base weapon is terrible until you overlevel it like this. And even then, I still have trouble, though if I had Boogaloo instead of Away, it could be a lot better. And I wanted to show off how ridiculous Millionaire got, but I couldn't. Oh well. What was that? That was a weird random event. Oh, there's a boss skeleton coming in. Yeesh. Definitely did not need that spinach. Probably be another thousand up. Man, does it get like 2.5 might off per? Or is the base damage so high it gets... Hmm. A lot of weapons have really low base damage. You saw that happen with Gavidoni's nonsense. Hopefully you saw it. Watch my videos. Enjoy my content. Have a good day. Keep messing around. Got a shill. Got a shill for the algorithm. Because apparently asking people to like subscribe and all that works. Uh. Well, I knew I had the revives. That's why I did that run in. Otherwise, I could have just circle done this. And survived. Man, this is a ton of gems. You're not beating me today, death. Wow. Chicken revive. Save me. Oh, over 6,000 damage at the end. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> and only a 249 million? Huh, you couldn't even get to 250 million. That's how you know the weapon is bad. Keep the Muerte. Showing us how it's done. All oh, right, next is Boss Rash. Uh oh. Surely Boss Rash couldn't be any more difficult than the Bone Zone ended up being. After all, I get all the passives. For a character that... Er... Well, this is gonna end poorly. Does Spellbinder do anything? I think it does. Left is good, right is bad. Well, that was not a good start. Oh, she needs three Arcanas to start with and is going to get none of them. Alright, I need to take out the bats for XP. 
get empty tome as empty tome or flash arrow up as soon as possible. I do not have a choice. Well, candle armor door is fine. Oh, this is going to be terrible. I can't actually get mad forest, can I? This is going to be one very bad run. Oh, another Oro Logan out of nowhere. I don't think... Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. If I can get... If I can survive... Two Millionaire, it'll be fine. I won't need Air and Blue Will there. We need it for every other time, because this weapon is not very good. You don't have Iron Blue Will. In fact, I've already said it's terrible. Alright, Clover. Look at what I have to do. I basically have to Mega Charge and enemy waves to win. Sure, it does a lot of damage. Doesn't really matter. Oh, hey, another NFT. Nice. And it's armor again. That's, uh, a thing, for sure. This is the better idea. Isn't good. Put as much damage on them Atlanteans as I can. I think one of them went down already, uh, you know, sure damage it puts out is something else. Too bad it's getting to that point, that's the hard thing. Now these two shouldn't be that far behind. Yep. Okay, this is going better than I thought, which is not a good sign. Spellbinder even do anything? I think it does. Huh? That was weird. There we go. Some more boss up in here. I don't actually have that many levels, so the health scaling on the hag here isn't too bad. Duplicator up. Oh, NFT, nice. All right, if I can spam out chests, this would be a lot better. All right, Clover's maxed out, that's good. Bracer is not close at all. all right, let's get some experience gems up. Boss of Bone Tower. Me Iron Blue Whale. That's Waltz of Pearls. Iron Blue Will. Iron Blue Will. Iron Blue Will. And another Atlantean out of nowhere. Well, which one is this? NFT? Oh, nice. The sheer power of the arrow. You go bye bye. No, I should have got Bracer. Why did I not get Bracer? Because it's Bracer. Who thinks of getting Bracer if they could avoid it? Okay, it's Bracer, Flash Arrow, and... what cha cha Maxed out. And there's Millionaire and the victory. Based on amount and when picking up gold coins. Guess what I'm doing with the gold fever?
Gotta make it bigger. Make it stronger. Make it harder and faster. And I do believe I said this, but yeah, that totally was a manticore. Not a chimera. Bye bye, crab battle. You weren't stopping this rain of aerials. Some might say there's a million. I don't think the game can really handle that. So we'll say there's a million anyway. Ha 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 ha, they're losing. They are doomed completely and utterly. They can't stop the rain of arrows. Now it's only gonna get stronger and better. And so will she. Like I said, flash arrow, terrible. Millionaire, incredible. Even your root and Dan Wave is gonna feel the burn in the end. And it still fires out flash arrows on the back end. So it's pure upgrade. Purest there is. Oh, it's kind of hard to actually get the arrows to hit anything at this point. It's in everything gets taken out by the millionaire storm first. Wings. Wings of an angel. Wait, why hasn't there been an angel character? Is that supposed to be what Crotchy is? Also, incidentally, it's kind of hilarious that Crotchy is the one who goes down on the Contra trailer, considering his whole thing is that he has extra lives. Spellbinder does nothing, but I will pick it up anyway. Eh, and I, oh, right, I didn't take damage, I just hit things. Or leveled up things that increase my max health. It's kind of funny, because in you, Dan, when your max health increases up level up, you get that health back. It's not a full heal, but you get 7 health, you get 7 health. Always funny to see how games compare like things like that. Uh oh, got Reaper Apprentices coming in. Oh, you're a boss version, aren't you? Even though I'm pretty sure she could get through with no problems. Uh, get reviving. Oh, Ender. Oh, Ender, Ender, Ender. What do you think you're doing here? You can't even move. That looks like I'm about to end Ender. Heck, before any of the other ones spawn in, that's really nice damage. In fact, it's basically incomparable. Time for my revenge, Drowner. Wait, why is that? Did I not take out Ender? No, I took out one of the other ones. It spawned in. <laughs> I didn't even notice. It's time for my revenge, Stalker. got a revenge to pawn. Still won't have everything maxed out, which is weird. Uh oh. Giant robots are already getting in. That's never good. Or is it good? Yep. She's just annihilating them. She's going to have to spam through with revives like a lot of other characters. And she's only getting stronger from here on out. There's Drowner down. Granted, getting the NFT helped. Man, they're, I think part of the reason it's so hard, they're so deadly, is because of their sheer size. So they get to press in like this when they get new waves. Oh, Melisen. Not that it really mattered. I was going to win anyway, but still. Hey. Made it safer. Heck, have I even used a revive? I have not used a revive, I think. It's kind of hard to tell when you have both Academy Badge, Tier G, Sue, and... Awake. Level 80, not bad.
Okay. Alright, definitely not as strong as what Miang was pulling off, but still. Pretty good. And she's so much faster, too. So she can do this. Get them all grouped up. And annihilate it off that. Uh-oh. Yep. Clean and easy. 72.6 million in four minutes. Completely trash. Flash arrow on bone zone. Ah. Uh, bit of difficulty. Had one run fail on bone zone. But otherwise, that was a pretty good run. Thanks for watching. And despite the game's best efforts, Keitha has managed to get us up to 200 on the Beswick. Wow, whoever could have seen that coming. I certainly didn't when I started this. Ah. Uh, I'd say it's an impressive landmark, but there are more impressive ones out there. I don't know, maybe name some in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Give a like if you did, a dislike if you did not, a comment if there's any builds you want me to try, a subscription if you want to support the channel. Have a good day, and keep messing around.